robots will start parking cars in Gatwick Airport's test runs this year. Image, Stanley Robotics, Britain's second busiest airport will do test runs of the robot valet fleet for three months to boost parking capacity. Gatwick is working with parking robotics company Stanley Robotics to trial the new technology from April to August, according to a planning application to Crawley Council. It is hoped the new move will increase the number of parking spaces available as robotically parked cars don't need space for drivers to get out. Stanley Robotics has already rolled out their technology in Leon Airport and christened its robots. Stan, co-founder Steve Nevano, said, We call it a valet parking robot because people just need to drop off their car at the entrance of the car park and then they can basically leave and catch a flight. It's a machine that detects a vehicle, slides under it, lifts it gently by the wheels and moves it to a storage area. Customers park in a cabin before their flight with robots collecting the vehicles and moving it to a parking area. Robot valet parking aims to save space as cars can be placed closer together. Image, Stanley Robotics. It's a machine that detects a vehicle, slides under it, lifts it gently by their wheels and moves it to a storage arrest. Stanley Robotics co-founder Steve A. Nevanoth Robot logs the traveler's itinerary details so the vehicle is ready to collect when they return to their vehicle. Gatwick's trial will take place in Zone B of the airport's South Terminal Longstay Car Park. Some 170 spaces from 2,350 will be trialed and replaced with 270 robotic valet parking spaces. The airport, which saw 46.1 million travelers pass through last year, will start building work for the experiment in April. Gatwick hopes to test run the project from August. Gatwick will roll out the technology at other car parks if tests are successful. Image, Stanley Robotics. If tests are successful the airport will roll out the Robot Valley service to two other parking areas. Is hoped 8,500 robot parked cars can fit into the current 6,000 cell park spots. The application states, the trial area, comprises an existing area of surface parking which is currently configured for self-parking, Zone B currently accommodates some 2,350 spaces. During the trial this will reduce to 2,180 cell park spaces and 270 robot valley parking spaces. Robot valets lift the cars and remove them to a secure area. Image, Stanley Robotics. This area will be fenced off from the remainder of the long-stay car park with new fencing. The primary element of the development is the installation of eight cabins on the east side of the trial area. Each carbon is expected to be some 4.6 meters by 8.7 meters by 3.2 meters high.